people are more afraid of man than they are of God. I remember, and I'm sure it still happens with people. Um, people attend churches and stuff like that. Even your boss, whatever, you know, your employer. But, you know, like I remember times when people would be standing around talking or maybe they were saying something that might that they may have not uh, maybe they shouldn't have been saying or whatever then they quiet down when when the, the, the religious leader or the pastor comes by they quiet down and, and hey hey pastor hey how you doing and then you know once he passes he or she passes or whatever passes the, the scene the area then they go back to their gossip, chit chat, fight, or whatever it was that they were doing, and it's like you're having this respect in quotes, this uh, reverence in quotes for a man, or you know, when I say man, humankind, but you, but God is over overall. He sees you. He's right there. I mean, he can see and hear everything you're doing. So. I mean, it seems like that would be the fear right there. That would be the reverence um, and the person to uh, worry about, uh, you know, what we're doing. You know, we do, and then people do this, you know, if people don't believe in God. They don't believe God exists. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they call themselves born-again Christians, churchgoers, church members. People don't believe that there's a real God. They don't believe that in Jesus. They don't believe that there's a Holy Spirit. They don't believe that there's a heaven and there is a hell. Because if we did, we would really act like it. You know what I mean? Our lifestyles would really act like, you know, behave like it. Uh, so many, in so many, in, on so many levels. Because even as uh, followers or uh, believers or uh, uh, of Christ Jesus, we would really depend more on the Holy Spirit instead of going about doing things our own way. We'd be led by the Spirit. We have a relationship with the Trinity, or you know, with God, with uh, uh, Jesus, you know, and and whatnot. But that's that's not so. So you know, it's just really not so because because why they don't believe, and because they have the mediator already, and and sitting before them every time they, the door is open, they got somebody that's talking to them. You know, they they don't have the patience or the the belief to sit down and listen to the Lord, to hear the still small voice and the directions, and and have conversations. With the, with the Lord, you know, and then unbelievers, it's like, really, that's that other level, really don't care, you know, they just wilding out, even, even so-called believers, though, too, just wilding out, because they don't believe that they, in the present, they think when they go into the, go in the building, then they so-called, in the quotes, in the presence of the Lord, oh, my goodness, God is everywhere, omnipotent, omnipotent, omniscient, he is everywhere, he is Jehovah Shammah, he is the God who is here and the God who is there, Good. the ability to be anywhere at one time, okay, he's not mere human being, he's not flesh and blood like we are, remember Jesus even had to become flesh and blood, he had to take on humankind, you know, huh. <laughs> and it's all the spirit is a spirit, okay, you know, so, you know, we got to get this thing together, we don't really believe in God, because if we did, we, man, we would be on our post, we would be on our post, and, and there are times, I mean, because, you know, because although our own has not been, maybe has not been as as uh, severe, but there will be persecution. 
you know, there's going to be persecution, and sometimes, you you know, we're going to be worn down because you get tired and whatnot, and sometimes you get, you know, you get disappointed, and, um, you know, different things like that, and that's why I always try to tell people, you know, certain ministry tips to stay strong, one is, well, this group of one, you never, you should never get too angry, never get too hungry, and never get too tired, you know, stay rested, stay full, you know, and when I say full, I don't mean over stuff, because <laughs> that's another thing, uh, these people that go to these, well, I'm not even going to say that, but I'm not even going to go there, but not to be over stuff, but to be, you know, eat, have had enough in your belly, enough uh, refreshing liquids, you know, and things like that, nourishing, nutritious foods, you know, uh, so never too hungry, uh, never too tired, get plenty of rest, you know what I mean, and don't get, and never too angry, yes, we're going to get angry because we have what, a holy, a righteous indignation, meaning that, or when things, or a holy, a holy anger, meaning when we see things that are ungodly, and we know that God does not like, and there's somebody, or we see someone being, you know, we see someone being mistreated, or whatever, yes, we are going to get angry, but, but the Bible tells us, you get angry, but you sin not. So, you know, be careful. You have to, you know, use uh, temperance and, and, all, and all things and all matters. So those are, you know, three things that we, you know, definitely you have to keep and keep, um, keep ahead of you so that you don't, you know, so that you can always be fresh to minister to, to someone. Um, you know, and if you, and if you feel, you know that, you know, of course that if you haven't had enough rest and you haven't eaten well and whatnot, it's good to just keep, try to keep that mouth closed and definitely try to stay away from people so that you don't, uh, you know, say or do the wrong thing in a, in an instance, you know, whatever. So yeah, we don't believe in God. We do not believe in God. I'm so convinced. I was just sitting here thinking, uh, and, uh, we don't believe in God. That is just really true. We don't have any reverence for God and we don't believe in God. We believe we, we fear man more than we fear God all day long. I think I even have a message I meant to publish regarding that. But anyway, we're here to encourage you to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus and in Christ Jesus alone. We pray that you will encourage others to live a life that is victorious in Christ Jesus and in Christ Jesus alone. Be mindful, beloved. Listen, heed the word. You know, don't get stiff-necked. Don't be stiff-necked. Find out. Reverence God. Examine yourself. Are you one of these people who really don't fear God, who don't believe in God? Actually, not even that we don't fear him. You don't even believe that he really exists. Because if we did, we would do things so much more differently. We'd be out here on, uh, you know, feeling that push in our back, being compelled. You know, just like Jeremiah said, I could not stop talking. I could not stop ministering to people because it was like fire shut up in my bones. And 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 you, and then I'm telling you, there's just so much joy when you're doing the will and the work of God. Oh, my goodness. There's really, really, and, you know, it's something that you love, you know, and like they had that little quote or slogan or, or saying about how if you, you know, as far as your career is concerned, when you're doing something that you really love, it's not even work. And that is really how you, you just love it, you know, like, I lo you know, every day I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? When I get in, uh, have an opportunity to minister to people or to prep things for people or whatever and, and to spend time with the Lord and, you know, and all, all of that, um, it's just 
wonderful, so much joy, so much peace. And not that things won't come against you and things won't happen, yes, but, you know, but still, you know, just, it's just beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful, you know. I'm just, it's really just awesome, you know. And if you die in this, in that very instance, you know that you have died well, you know, prayerfully. You know you have died well and in peace. And that you would definitely meet with God and spend eternity with him when you are doing the work and the will of God. So, as always, we love you very much. And uh, we're always praying for everybody. We just randomly pray for different situations and circumstances and groups of people and people that we feel, you know, we you know, don't know who's visiting our pages or channels. But we pray for those that we know who have viewed a video, those who will view a video, you know, those who will uh, like a comment or, you know, or anything like that, you know, everybody is, is we try to cover uh, everybody, you know, we try to cover every um, circumstance and every people. So anyway, we love you very much, hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video, uh, this exhortation video, we pray that it has opened your eyes and that you will examine yourself and, and see where you are, see if you still be in the faith or if you ever were in the faith and then get in the faith. I want you to get into the press, to, to get on, to keep on the firing line, to hold up the blood stained banner for the Lord, okay? Oh, it's a song that I love, and I know you know it. And I might can not even make it, I may not even remember the words, but oh my comrades. this song. I can't even remember the words. I can't believe this. But it, it, the, what the words are saying is telling the, 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 Jesus is talking to us barely, basically. Telling us to keep on holding up that blood stain better. He's telling us that I am coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just continue on. Yes, the fight may be hard and the fight might be rough, but he's telling us to keep on going. I would try to put that song. I can't believe I can't remember the song. That is one of my favorite songs. I love that battle song right there. But I, and it's so encouraging. So very encouraging. I would try to leave it in the description box uh, but he's telling us hold my comrades you know because we're his comrades you know what I mean you know and he's telling us to hold on and wait because he and, and you know talking about how your courage is almost gone and whatnot but hold on because I am coming oh I love that song hold on hold on hold on let me see if I can find it Okay, I found it. <laughs> Praise God. So it's called Hold the Fort. And, oh, my goodness, I, you know, well, never mind, enough about me. Cause, but, but I love to, I, for years, I have loved to march and sing this song. But let me sing it. It says, and you, some of you know it, but sing with me, if you will. Hold my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing, victory is nigh, victory is nigh. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will. Ooh, I love that. That is so powerful. 
that just that small song that stands in that refrain is so, so powerful. Wave that answer. So we wave the answer back to heaven. We wave our hands. We wave our flags back to heaven by our grace. We will hold the fort because Jesus is telling us, I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. Hold on. Oh, let me sing it again. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I got to leave it in the West. I should, I should even play it. <laughs> but hold my, my comrades. See the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing. Victory is nigh. Victory is nigh. Hold the fort, for I am coming. Jesus, seek no skill. Wave the answer back to heaven. By our grace. We will. Woo! That is powerful. I love you very much. Have a great day. Be encouraged, beloved, to live for God. Live for Him and Him alone. Oh, my goodness.